Sodium acetate is an interesting chemical with many interesting uses, commonly used to make instant heat packs as well as making pure acetic acid. Today I'm gonna show you how to make it using simple household chemicals. You will need some baking soda and acetic acid. Now you can definitely use some normal household food vinegar, but I recommend getting the stuff for cleaning as it has higher percentage of acid in it. So we can get a better yield without needing to boil away several liters of the vinegar. I'm personally, personally using 32% acetic acid for my sodium acetate, which you should be able to find in most stores in the cleaning section. First, pour out some vinegar. Use however, however much you like, but do keep in mind that the volume will roughly double after adding the baking soda if you are using strong vinegar. Then go ahead and set this to the side for now. Then get another beaker and fill it with baking soda. Make sure to pour up a good amount because we will need a lot of it. For the next step, let's go ahead and add it very slowly to the vinegar. This causes a reaction where the baking soda or sodium bicarbonate turns into sodium acetate which dissolves in the solution. This also neutralizes the vinegar. Make sure you add it very slowly to avoid it bubbling over. The gas released is harmless CO2 gas, so this experiment does not require a fume hood and an open window is plenty good for this. Now just keep adding baking soda till no more dissolves, then place the mixture on your hot plate and crank the heat up high. We want it to heat up, but not boil. Now wait till it's very hot and keep adding more baking soda till no more dissolves again. Now what we are gonna do, pour it carefully into another container, I'm using a flask, and add some more vinegar to dissolve any remaining baking soda particles floating around. Be sure to also add this slowly to avoid it bubbling over and making a huge mess. Then wait till the mixture has turned clear and pour it into a fresh beaker. Back on the hot plate it goes and we crank the heat up all the way. Now that the solution boils for a while, depending on how strong your vinegar is, you're gonna be needing to boil it for some time. In my case, it took about 15 to 20 minutes to boil away a lot of the water, and I used 32% vinegar. If you're boiling 100 milliliters of solution like I'm doing here, you need to boil it down about halfway, so 50 milliliters. But this heavily depends on your concentration of vinegar, of course, Basically keep boiling the solution till you see a layer of crystals forming on the surface. Once you see this, boil it for about a minute more and then you can pour it out into some molds or out onto a plate. Which would make it easier to break up into smaller pieces. I'm using a mold because I'm going to further refine it um, in the future. So it does not matter if it's a powder or solid chunks in my case. Now you can let it cool down by itself at room temperature, or you can put it in the fridge or freezer. Do keep in mind the sodium acetate holds heat very well, so make sure you give it a good while to cool down so you don't burn yourself. And there you go, solid chunks of sodium acetate. I hope that this video has helped some people out, and it was clear and easy to understand. I am Danish, so my English accent is not the best. But I'm trying my hardest. If you enjoy it, then I would really appreciate a like, a comment, or even a subscription on my channel, so I can make, keep making chemistry videos like this. Thank you for watching.